when I was talking about putting other producers in the studio and playing beats for Slim, we'll sit there and be kind of laughing like, that nigga don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they don't know that. You yeah, know, but yeah. we with him every day. We know what he wants. So I gotta get this money myself. I gotta pay my bills for myself. I gotta go out here and get. So y'all hear somebody else doing that, y'all like this. But then that's where that we know that with Slim, we understand that with other people, other artists, sending beats don't work. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. We're gonna roll with this for a long time. Yeah, for sure. We was gonna roll with her for a long time, but it got to a point where we say. That's we not gotta go back home. Yeah, right. we gotta did, go back home. Did you, did, when you came back home, was that when you guys linked in, like with Slim Thug and, and no, we prior to that. We looked at with yeah. Slim in high school. Yeah. So how, I mean, how I was that? I drove Slim and Escalade to prom. The same, hey. the same Escalade that's yeah. still tipping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. But he was talking to my sister at the time. That's when he met yeah, I remember that. They were a couple. So um, that's how long we've been like. So he went from like big bro to, I mean, I don't tell him this to to this day. He he technically our OG too. But I'm with him every day. We with him every day. This every is single our day. brother. Every, so every single day. I play with him so much that I can't sit here in a podcast and say, well, that's really our OG and we learn wow. a lot from him. <laughs> but you, but you did. Him. Nah, yeah, I'm kind of sure. lame every day. You know what I'm saying? So I can't. You know, so I can't. But I'm, I'm just saying. But no, you know what he means. You know what he means. He know what he means to us, though. He know for sure. He know what he means. He know what he does for us. Always love him. He let us, after we got off the road with Big Sis, he let us come on the road with him. Yeah. That's hard. Come on. That's all. Learning anything, we need you know, and Mr. Yeah, Rogers for sure. Anything DJ we Mr. need, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, well, yeah, he was part of uh, the boss. How Mr. Rogers used to be a producer too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was on the road. It's really a lot too. of producers in Houston that came through that boss. How. Um, through that building, that through whole, that studio. That whole hard too. It's a lot of people. Young Sam, um, Sci-Fi, Sci-Fi, yeah, T.A., uh, uh, Mr. Sal Lee, Ma, Mr. Lee, all, all of us came through. That we were just first in the same building. Building, yeah. Wow, and 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 so dealing with Slim, I didn't mean to cut you, but dealing with Slim, I want to stay on that a little bit. Um, just do voice, you, 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 my nigga was deep. You know what I'm saying? Slim thugger, motherfucker. Y'all knew exactly how to beat, make the beat to what y'all yeah. wanted to. Oh, we know what he yeah. like. Like y'all knew what he. he, yeah. he it's unfair for us with Slim because we're yeah, that's really like. our that's really our bro. So I think when I was talking about putting other producers in the studio and playing beats for Slim. We'll sit there and be kind of laughing like, that nigga don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they don't know that. You yeah, know, but yeah. we with him every day. We know what he wants. I got to get this money myself. I got to pay my bills for myself. I got to go out here and get so Y'all hear somebody else doing that, y'all, like this. But then that's where, that we know that with Slim, we understand that with other people, other artists, sending beats don't work. You got to be in the studio to get to know somebody and know, yo, y'all think he on that, he ain't on that no more. Imagine when Rick Ross dropped his first album and everybody on his second album was probably sending him runner's beats mm -hmm. when he was on um, Justice League at the time. Wow. I'm on this Justice League way, but y'all haven't heard me on the Justice League because it hasn't came out yet. You know what I'm saying? So we're like that with a lot of artists. Like We have a personal relationship. Y'all think Sauce want to hear that and he, he's been off that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. that's what we realized. With, I, I feel like we learned that with Slim. That's People cool. always try to play him beats and it's like... Y'all don't even realize he don't even want to hear I'm a boss, I be this and tipping. And yeah, a lot of people get the song like that. Like, it be man. a whole, every time he playing beats, you hear that, and they be like, bro, he don't like rapping on that shit. <laughs> he hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? But we don't know what he Y'all know him, that's why y'all yeah, don't So we know he don't want that, but we realize Did he ever that. pick one that y'all didn't think he would pick? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he does that. And you All like, damn, yeah. he picked that one. And then when he did it, was it hot or was it I not? I lost a bit before. <laughs> <laughs> That's something better. He ain't gonna want to hit that. He was like, "Yeah, play that. Run that one again." <laughs> All right, man, run it again. <laughs> so, yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.